Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Today we're going over how to retrieve a data log from a Haltech ECU. First thing we're going to do is go up and click the connect button in the upper left hand corner. You need to be connected to the ECU and ECU needs to be powered on. Next, we're going to wait for it to connect to the computer. Once connected, you may be prompted for a password. If so, click limited access mode and this will allow you in so that you can retrieve your data log. All right, now that it's connected and the bottom left hand corner shows green, we're going to go down to the data logging section, go to export to file. Here we can type in a name for our file. This will be test log. Appears we already have one. We're going to overwrite it. Now the data log has been exported. You can email that to your tuner. You can also export it directly to the data log viewer. We'll name it again. This will launch the data log viewer for us. We can then make it full screen and add some channels that we want to view. For example, RPM. Back in ESP, we can take a look at some other values currently going on. If you have a blank page, right click and you can select what you would like to see. In this case, we're going to pop up RPM so we can see live RPM data coming straight out of the ECU. You may also want to trace. This is going to show us live data streaming. Make this a little bigger. We'll add uh, RPM and battery voltage. Now you can see this live data streaming across your computer. Um, you can rearrange this however you want to see it, move things around, add whatever channels, gauges, bar graphs, whatever you want to see here. This is all the live data coming out of the ECU. There are also some preloaded screens in Haltech. You can go to view, load. We'll grab the diagnostic page. This is going to give you all your live sensor data. If you're uh, troubleshooting any sensors or things of that nature, it's a quick way to see it. Also, don't forget to clear the data logger. That can be done under the data log clear section. That'll just get it ready for the next time you're going out. There won't be anything in there, so you're not trying to sift through old data and new data. When you're finished, click disconnect. That'll sign you out. Thanks for joining us.